story time of what it was like being friends with a pathological liar guys this girl almost ruined my life let's get straight into it so there was this girl in my high school who was infamous for going through several friend groups i didn't really know much about her like we both knew each other we just were never close like, i was in grade 12 and I knew that like a lot of the older kids did not like her. So she was dating this guy, breaks up with him, and then rumors start going around that he's interested in me. I hear this from like, some of my guy friends and I don't think much of it. You know, in high school, like he was a year younger and in high school, you always think that dating someone younger is so weird and gross. So I just never wanted to. I wasn't interested, whatever. So I had a spare in high school, which basically meant that while classes were going on, I didn't have class. Like I just had extra free time to study. I'm sitting with one of my friends. By the way, I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury um, Magic Skin Foundation in the shade six. So she comes up to me and she's like, oh my God, I heard my ex is trying to go after you. <laughs> Fake fucking girl you should totally go for him i'm rooting for you oh my god but he like assaulted me and in my head i'm just obviously i take her word for it in regards to like assault and stuff like that i always take the girl's word for it so she says that and i'm just like why would you expect me to go after him after you said that it almost felt like she was trying to talk to me and trying to i guess befriend me so that i would not go after the guy that she was dating well, that's girl code or i thought you know that's what she was trying to do but i find out later that she she didn't really care about girl code and we'll get to that in a bit she tells me how he was so toxic he was horrible mistreated her whatever and i'm like oh my god that's terrible i would never want to go with for him like ew i mean i wasn't even trying to go for him in the first place like i was not interested in this younger man she starts to insert herself slowly into my life guys she had class okay while i had my spare so she would literally skip class to hang out with me and she just seemed to really be putting in an effort to get to know me and like part of me thought it was a little sweet because i was like you know what she's really putting effort into this friendship that i didn't ask for i already had my set group of friends who i'm like still friends with now i didn't need no extra friendship but she was just really insistent on it, I guess. She would skip class to hang out with me. We'd go to McDonald's together. I do notice how she's like a little fake sometimes, but I was a very non-confrontational person at the time. I was only friends with her because she like just surrounded herself with me and I felt like obligated to talk to her. She would talk shit about a lot of girls, girls that she previously was friends with and she would tell me about them and she's like, I know there's rumors about me and stuff like that, but this is what this girl did to me. It was horrible. And I'd be like, oh my God, this girl sounds horrible. I can't believe that she did that to you. And I was like, you know what? Maybe she's just misunderstood, misguided, whatever. Why am I like that with friendships and with boys? I just, I'm very naive, you know? I always, I always like to see the best in people. So that's what I chose to do with her. She'll talk shit about one girl and then that girl will come up to her and she'll be like, oh my God, hey, how's it going? It's just weird, you know? Like if I don't like someone, I don't really interact with them. Especially if I'm not, if I'm not super close with them. Like why is she putting in such an effort to be nice to them? I don't know. So university I think ends in April or whatever. So all the uni kids are back and my ex is back in town, okay? And I'm a little excited, you know, I haven't seen him in so long. I kind of reconnect a little. The reason why me and my ex broke up was because he was like, I don't know if I can do a relationship and be in university at the same time, which was literally something that we discussed prior. Like I told him we shouldn't date because he's gonna be busy with uni, but he wanted to anyways, and then he didn't want to anymore. Ugh, so anyway. Also Charlotte Tilbury in the shade eight for I guess my contour. So he's like, oh my God, I honestly could have been in a relationship. It wasn't even as bad as I thought. I do regret breaking up and stuff so we reconnect we're talking again meanwhile she is talking to his best friend okay which i think is super cute you know me and her are friends she's into his friend i'm into my ex actually in my tiktok story i referred to her as maddie but let's call her cassie because that's what she is you know from euphoria yeah we're gonna we're gonna refer to her as cassie also just some other things that i want to mention that the reason why I'm saying she's a pathological liar and some more things to come like later on as well. It seemed like she would lie and backtrack a lot of things that she said. So for one, you remember how she said her ex assaulted her? Months later, 
she brings up randomly in a conversation she's like hey you know what's so weird people have been spreading rumors that i'm telling people that my ex assaulted me like what the heck no like that never even happened he's literally so nice like he never did anything to me i just kind of brushed it by because i was never interested in her ex that's just something you don't joke about she said it happened but then later on she said she didn't girl we literally met and first started talking because you told me to go for him but like he assaulted you know like it's just it's weird so me and my ex are reconnecting and she's low-key teasing me and making fun of me he literally looks like a goddamn horse like why are you into this man and this in inside joke starts between us because this is not a charlotte tilbury ad i don't know why i'm using all their products um this is the pink gasm blush and i'm like i'm oh my god i love horses like you know that horse movie spirit stallion of the cimarron he was obsessed with that movie like i loved that horse and she's like oh my god that's so funny you love horses and then old town road that song was trending back then and it just was like the cherry on top we're like oh my god horses whatever a horse girl key point is that she said my ex looked like a horse she would tell me i was way cuter than him why was i talking to him meanwhile she's like obsessed with his friend she's also obsessed with his other friend she's into all of them homie hopper anyways me and her were plotting on how to get closer to these guys well for me my me and my ex like we were already talking to each other but she wanted an excuse to see his friend there's this party that the grade 11s were hosting and she wanted to invite those two to this house party it was at an airbnb and mind you you guys probably already know i had strict parents i wasn't allowed anywhere okay so we came up with this elaborate lie this was my first sleepover guys my first ever sleepover i told my parents i'm like my friend from india because this girl was like part in she's like half indian i was like she's leaving to india and at this point my parents said it was okay for me to move out for university so this is after i've already convinced my parents that i'm allowed to go out for university i know a lot of people were confused about that they're like how are your parents strict or whatever i lied i said my friend was moving to india and this was the last time i was ever going to see her and we were doing a girl's sleepover and i really wanted to go what what's the difference if i'm leaving for university anyways you know so i was allowed to go to this party and it actually was like a sleepover so like all the people that were close with the hosts we're going to sleep over at this huge house. There were several bedrooms in there. Me and her, we go to the party early. We make a private story and we add only my ex to it. It's, oh, there's a party, like hit us up if you wanna come, whatever. And of course he responds, come if you want, like bring your friend with you. And they both say yes. So we're super excited. We got our outfits ready. This was this was an insane party. The guys show up, we're all having a good time. My ex is mostly with me and she's mostly with his best friend. Shit goes down at the party, okay? The host, it was her for her birthday. She, the police end up showing up at this house and she ends up going to the hospital and we're freaking out. So me and my ex, we uber to the hospital we try to see if we can get her out we can't we he leaves his uh number whatever we lie and say we're her cousins we're trying to just get her home safe and they're like sorry you're gonna have to come tomorrow morning at the end of the night my ex wants to sleep over at this party but his best friend doesn't want to so my friend is really really upset about that she really wanted him to sleep over because it just kind of indicated that he didn't really like her that much and she was upset about that because she had hooked up with him so me being the nice friend that i am i sleep with her that night because i don't want her to be alone because i'm a good friend and i choose my friend over boys foreshadowing pound cake huda beauty so we wake up the next morning all i hear is yelling okay there's boys in this house there's boys in this house in like a thick indian accent okay and i'm freaking out I'm like what is going oh wait i used the wrong powder Fuck. it's like no wonder this is so low okay, so there's a voice screaming why are there boys why are there boys my ex comes out of the room um i wake my friend up and we go downstairs and it's the girl who was in the hospital it was her dad that showed up to this party. There were a basket of, oh my God, it was so bad. This is what the kids were like, okay, my bad. But um, there were like condoms in a bowl, a list of party rules, and it was like, get drunk, don't hotbox the garage, horrible things. And this girl, like her parents were strict, okay? Her dad was a lawyer. 
um she was a fellow brown girl it was bad um he's like i'm calling all of your parents yada yada give me your names right now and i totally lie and give like some fake white name and we basically tell them that this that their daughter is in the hospital and that she needs to be picked up and they're like, nope, we're not going to her. Like, she disobeyed us. If you guys are such good friends with her, then you can go pick her up from the hospital. Obviously, me, my ex, and my friend, we go to the hospital to go get our friend and take her home because her parents didn't want to go pick her up at the hospital. This was my first high school party ever, guys. Like, it was, in it was intense, but it was also like a night to remember. I have work. So after we go pick the girl up from the hospital, we all eat at McDonald's. Um, I have to go to work. So my ex, my best friend, and this girl go drop off that girl home, the birthday girl. And my ex and my best friend bus home together. This is where everything starts going south. Also, my lips are looking pasty, so I'm just gonna throw on this Fenty gloss. This is where this new friendship blossoms. They were never friends. Every time we were around my ex and his best friend, like they just never really talked to each other. After this bus ride, suddenly a new friendship blossoms. Start getting closer and closer by each day, okay? So they actually realize that they have the same gym membership because they see each other at the gym and then they start working out together. And when they would work out, they would work out for like 20 minutes, okay? She was not fit, my ex was not fit by any means, okay? Well, I guess she was fit because she did play some sports, but clearly they weren't hitting the gym because they gained a lot of weight after, you know, going to the gym together, both of them. So they would go to the gym and then they would go smoke after and would eat McDonald's like just smoke and sesh with each other till like 3 a.m. in the morning and this would start happening on the daily and I just thought it was really weird but I didn't like every time I kind of asked her about it she was like oh we're just like siblings she just made it appear that she was just so into his friend so we would go on double dates together for example we went on this date to Wonderland together and the boys are getting trousers and he goes and picks out this like really ugly pair of shorts i was like no those look so bad just get like black or something and she comes behind me with her man she's like oh my god i love those and he's like oh my god me too and they're just like bonding over these trousers that they just love sorry guys i'm getting mad because how did i not get how was i so chill i had that feeling in my stomach that something was off but i just never did anything and of course uh, the guy that she's talking to picks the black ones <laughs> on this double date it's literally her like running off somewhere and then my ex following her and then me and the guy that she's seeing just getting left behind and I remember like me and her man, the guy that she was talking to, would literally look at each other and just be like, did they just leave? So me and him, we were pretty chill. I should have went for the friend on it. He was not my type though. It felt like I was on the double date with the other guy speaking of wonderland they were just such close friends that okay this one day it was me my ex her and my little brother so we're throwing footballs together and and they're talking about their wonderland trip i didn't know we were going to wonderland they're like oh you can come too if you want bikini shopping together guys i am still talking to this guy She's going bikini shopping with him, with her brother. My ex slowly starts getting distant with me the more that he gets close with her. And obviously I can put two, two and two together. Like I did trust her that she didn't like him. Like she said, oh my God, no, like he's so ugly. I believed her. Me now, back then, I would have went full on psycho right then and there. I would have been like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you going bikini shopping with a guy that I'm talking to? But I was just so sweet and understanding. I was delusional, okay? I've been delusional. I just need scissors. One day, they decide to get a cat together. Oh my god, couple goals. They get a cat together. Meanwhile, guys, I'm still talking to my ex. I'm still trying to mend whatever we had back then. He was really into it at first, but he was slowly like just not feeling it anymore. And I could obviously tell. Me and him have a date plan together. And I'm really excited for it. I literally buy a dress to wear for this so-called date. And he, the date comes and he's like, oh, sorry, I can't meet at the time that we were supposed to meet. And I'm like, why not? And he's like, I'm babysitting the cat. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. We don't have to go on our date. Like we can just hang out with the cat, I don't mind doing that. And he says, no, the cat 
is not used to, doesn't like new people. He, it's just really anxious. I have a cat, guys. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. When, when you have a kitten, you are supposed to surround it with like as many people as you can, animals, all that stuff, so that it gets used to it, so that it's social when it grows up. I didn't know anything about cats back then. So when can we hang out? He says 11 p.m. We were originally supposed to hang out at like three or four. He says he can hang out at 11 p.m. He knows that I cannot go out late at night and I'm just sick of it. I'm tired of being a second option. He clearly doesn't want to hang out with me. He won't tell it straight to my face, which is something that really pissed me off. So I rant to my friend, I'm like, dude, isn't it crazy that he's making up this whole excuse about the cat? Like if he doesn't want to hang out with me, just tell me. And this is what I tell her. So yeah, I just kind of forget about him. He actually ends up getting a DUI. They're just met for each other. I decided to take a road trip one random night. They were drinking and stuff. He didn't actually drive, okay? he They fell asleep in the car. Sometime in the morning, they did a breathalyzer on him and he failed it. So he got a DUI. Couple goals. She also tells me that that night he confessed to her. Who saw that coming? Not me. I knew it. I don't know why she's telling me all this information. Like, do you want me to feel bad that my ex confessed to you? I should have said that it really hurt me. I really tried to downplay it, how much it hurt me because I didn't want to ruin their friendship or anything like that. A couple days go by. A friend of Cassie's that's been her friend forever. So apparently she's never always liked me because of what she was hearing from Cassie. So Cassie tells her best friend, who is also very close friends with someone that has known me for years, okay? Cassie's friend confides in my friend and says that I'm crazy, I'm this, this, that. Apparently I was freaking out over this cat that Cassie got with one of her friends and she's just a psycho. Mina is crazy. My friend vouches for me. My friend and this girl are very close to each other. So my friend is like, it, that's, that, Mina is nothing like that. Like she is straight out blatantly lying to you because that is not how she is at all. She's in fact, the opposite. I never had beef with anyone in high school. Like I was never that person, which Cassie was. And her friend, Cassie's friend, after hearing this, after, Kind of having this terrible perception of me because of her is just sick of it because this is not the first time that cassie has apparently lied about these friendships and she was just over it she's like cassie's friend is like you know what this is the last straw i am tired of this girl lying to me about other people and me thinking they're horrible people she did the same thing to me about those other girls that did her dirty and i find out from Cassie's friend about all these lies that this girl has said about other people. And Cassie's friend is like, that's it. I'm done with her. I am no longer friends with her. We're graduating. Like, I want to cut this friendship off. I don't need it anymore. I also hear, remember those girl, that girl that hosted the party? I hear from her and a few other people because Cassie was not friends with any of the older kids. She was not friends with anyone her age, okay? She was friends with all the younger kids because all the older kids hated her, okay? So I hear from the younger students. Yeah, she's been talking a lot about you. The betrayal guys, I was, I was literally heartbroken. I was rooting for this girl. Anytime someone would talk shit about her, I was like, no, you got her wrong. She literally would come into my work and I would buy her food. She would come into my work, oh, I have cramps. I would buy her medicine. And that shit was expensive. Like that extra strength shit, I was working $15 an hour at Walmart, okay? It was like 30 bucks. Like that's two hours of work for this ungrateful ass horse. This ungrateful ass horse, okay? That's what we're gonna call her because that is what she is. Oh my God, I was so mad. I call my ex, I start yelling at him. I'm like, what did she say to you? No wonder he just slowly broke off from me, from me. Yes, he was spending more time with her and stuff like that, but she was also feeding him this false info about me. I was like shaking, I was so mad. She doesn't respond to my calls. I text her, I'm like, I want all my clothes back. And she says she'll leave them in her mailbox. She doesn't respond to any other of my texts, okay? Do I look cute or do I look weird? Anyway, so this girl is literally avoiding me. Um, she doesn't end up showing up at graduation either. Like I have not seen that girl since then 
She just didn't want the confrontation, didn't want the smoke. I sent her a long heartfelt message about how I felt so betrayed by her and how, you know, she was such a pretty and nice girl. And like, if she just stopped lying to people, then maybe she could actually keep a friendship longer than a few months because it was a pattern for her. She was going through all these friendships. I'm a pretty easygoing person. I let her get away with so many things. If she had just had my back and was loyal to me, then maybe we could have seen that friendship through, which we probably wouldn't have because I would have matured and realized how much of a snake ass bitch she was. Years later, I find out that they are actually dating now. I don't know if they're still dating now. Like I found out when I was in second year uni, it's been like two years after that. So I have no clue if they're still dating, but I've heard from my mutuals. He literally has no money. He's going broke because this girl just spends all his money. God, so cute, like couple goals. Thank God I didn't end up with this man. He looked like a horse. Oh my God, I, I hope she has fun with her horse. Because remember when she was talking all this shit about how ugly he was? But now you're dating him. I cannot believe that I let this girl walk all over me. I hate that I was just so chill back then. Like that is not okay. You will never catch me begging for a man like that ever again. The disrespect was unreal. And also for friendships too. Like when I sense that kind of behavior from a friend now, I really do distance myself from them and or like I just won't be friends with them. You just don't believe that those kind of people exist, but they do. I honestly think they were meant for each other. He said some pretty horrible things to me too. And honestly, if they're happy together, then they're happy together. Like I'm happy that I've separated myself from both of them. If someone tells me that someone has done them really dirty, then I'll usually take their word for it and I will stay away from that person.